All right, welcome to our second day of chapter one on points, lines, and planes. A little bit of review of vocabulary from the first section on nets and their three-dimensional representations. Um, in the first column, we want to match what the net is to the actual three-dimensional figure on the right. So the first one goes straight across. The second one represents a cylinder, and then the third one would be the box. A conjecture is a new vocabulary word, and a conjecture is just a guess or a prediction. And a conjecture is a conclusion that we reach when we use inductive reasoning. And I'm not going to say too much about that right now, but there's two kinds of reasoning that we'll talk about. We're going to talk about inductive reasoning and deductive reasoning, and we'll talk about that more in detail in the future. So using our vocabulary word of a conjecture, we want to tell whether it's being used as a noun or a verb. Number four says you make a conjecture that your volleyball team will win. Well, whenever you see a conjecture where it's used as a person, place, or thing, that's a noun. Number five, assuming your sister ate the last cookie is a conjecture. Again, it says a conjecture, that's a noun. Number six, you conjecture that your town will build a swimming pool. That one's showing action because it's something that you are doing, and that one is a verb. On this page, it says write the correct word from the list on the right. Use each word only once. In your book, um, it defines for you on page 10 what all of these things are. So the first one, it shows you a diagram of each of these things, and it also shows you how they are labeled, appropriately labeled in geometry. So we want to use, only, use each of these only once, and here are our vocabulary words on the right to choose from. So the first one, uh, this letter A right here with a dot, that is definitely going to be a point. Okay, that's a point. The second one, when you have an end point on both ends, that is a line. The third one is a representation of a plane, and we label planes by single letters, single capital letters. The next one, um, when there's two solid dots on each end, that one is a segment. And the one after that, um, we have one endpoint and one um, arrow on the end, that one's a ray. And the last one where we have, it looks like a line, but there's three points in there. Okay. And the thing that gives this one away is there's two rays that are labeled, and since they share the same endpoint, those are called opposite rays. And I'm not sure why that one is not, um, I think I'll just send that back and see if that works. There, see if we can get this. Anyway, that one should be opposite rays. Did I get all of those on that page? I want to make sure I didn't miss anything there. I think I got all of it. Let's go ahead and move on. Um, draw a line from each column, each column in A to the description in column B. Well, the first one says plane HGE. Well, plane HGE is the bottom of that surface, the very bottom of that box. And it also contains points E, F, and G, so it looks to me like that one goes to the bottom. Okay, Segment B, F, segment B, F right here, that's on that back edge. And segment B, F is the intersection of two planes, and it's the intersection of planes A, B, F, and C, G, F. So A, B, F is the one on the back side, and C, G, F is the one on the left side over there. Plane DAE, DAE is on this right side here, and plane DAE is the same as plane AEH. It's another way of labeling it. A, E, and H are all in the same plane as DAE. Line Y that you see with the dotted line back here, line Y is, um, excuse me, line Y is a line through points F and E. Since points F and E are on that line, that would label the same line, which leaves point A being the intersection of segment AB and line Z. So here's line Z and segment AB right here. They intersect in a single point called point A. Another um, definition for you or something to keep in mind, points that lie on the same line are called collinear points. Okay. Collinear lie on the same line. 
So try to remember that those go together. Points and lines that lie in the same plane are called co coplanar. Okay? In the same plane means coplanar. All points of a line are coplanar. That's another one of those little tidbits to remember. I'm sure that'll come up in a question somewhere in a homework assignment. <clears throat> All right, so let me scroll this down a little bit here. And this says, what are two other ways to name line RS? So here's line RS. Underline the correct word or letter to complete the sentence. RS is a line or a segment? Well, it is definitely a line. And I think I need my pen tool here again. It is a line. The lowercase letter that represents line RS is line L. Okay, that one is line L. Circle the points that are on RS. Well, if you look at line RS, let me scroll down again so we can see it. Come on. Um, the points on RS are R, Q, and S. So we're going to circle the points that are on RS. Well, those are only R, Q, and S. So those are the ones that would get circled. Cross out the lines that do not name RS. Well, again, looking at RS, the ones that do not name RS are going to be all the ones except for R, Q, and S. So the lines that do not name RS, we're going to cross this one. We're going to cross NT. We're going to cross PV. Now, Q and R are on there. Q and S are on there. R and Q, S and Q, S, and those could all label the same line. Different ways of labeling the same line. So those are okay. All right, let's move on to problem number two, naming segments and rays. It says EF and FE form a line. Are they opposite rays and explain? Well, first what we're going to do, it says draw and label points E and F. So here's a point E, and then I'll put point F right here. So here's point F, and then it says draw EF, ray EF in one color, and draw ray FE in another color. So here's one ray. And then I'll draw my other ray going the other direction, hopefully, if it'll draw for me. There we go. So ray FE is blue, EF is red. Do EF and FE share an endpoint? Well, no, they don't share an endpoint. They go in opposite directions, so they have opposite endpoints. Do EF and FE form a line? Yes, they do. If you take all of those points together, they would form a line. Are EF and FE opposite rays? Well, technically, no, they are not opposite rays. The reason they are not opposite rays is they do not share an endpoint. Even though they go opposite directions, they do not share an endpoint, so they can't be opposite rays. Are AB and BA the same ray? Explain. Underline the correct symbol to complete each sentence. The endpoint of AB is, well, the endpoint of AB is A. It's always the first letter that they give you. The endpoint of BA is B. Okay, it's always that first letter tells us what the endpoint is. And then it tells us draw use the line, draw and label points A and B, and then draw ray A, B, and B A. Well here's my oh this one's not going to work for me either. Here are my two rays. So I've got A right here and I've got B right here and I drew my rays in there already. And then are A, B, and B A the same ray? No, they're not the same ray. They go opposite directions. So they can't be the same ray. And that'll do it. We'll see you next time.